this is gonna be a short video today I've seen a lot of you guys asking about this uh, I guess they didn't really explain it fully to you when you first started playing but if you have the Monster Hunter Iceborne expansion you can actually clutch on to monsters and you have a couple options when you do so and you were supposed to receive a quest if you have the expansion it's like one of the very first quests you can get it's an optional quest I think level one yes learn the clutch claw so we can go ahead and do that to really break it down for y'all all right so the clutch claw you know is like a little grappling tool that we can grapple on to monsters with you can do a couple of things you well first of all the way to use the clutch claw is you press l2 you hold it down and you press o literally that's that's how you that's how you grapple onto a monster you hold down l2 and then you press o now when you grapple onto a monster there are a couple options you get you can grapple onto it and then once you're grappled onto it you can press o when you're on the monster's head so when you like grapple onto his head you press o and it'll turn his body to a direction so you can kind of turn him to wherever you want to go whenever you turn him to where you want to go and you're still grappled onto the head you can press r2 and you have to have slinger ammo in here to do this when you press the um, r2 button it unleashes all your slinger ammo and it will send a monster flying in whatever direction it's facing that's what um like a fling shot is you also when you're grappled onto a monster you can press like triangle and you can try to create a weak spot light weapons they'll drop slinger ammo and then the second time you do it again you grapple onto the monster and press triangle it'll create a weak spot heavier weapons like the great sword and the um i think the charge relay they automatically create weak spots but they don't drop slinger ammo so it's like a give and take light weapons you don't get an immediate weak spot but you do drop slinger ammo that way you can grapple on some monster and fling shot them bigger weapons you don't really get as much slinger ammo so you just have to get it from the environment if it's around you but you get to create weak spots instantly but let me show you real quick okay so they want so they want to walk through it real quick so we press l2 that's it oh. nice work that that right there you hold L2 you can fire your claw with your weapon and drawn then you as press well. O try drawing your weapon before firing the clutch claw so now if I draw my weapon and press L2 I can still clutch into a monster attack yeah. the monster first to make it flinch and once it stops so how the game teaches you is that you only like clutch claw okay. when a monster is Let's tired or pull this off in practice I clutch claw whenever a monster takes a pause in between attacks what I was explaining to you earlier was that certain weapons have certain animations with a clutch claw. So the great sword, if I attack with triangle, press L2 and hold triangle, I can go into an instant true great sword slash. Oh, say less. <laughs> I can do this however many times I want, depending on how much slinger ammo I have. I have 17 um, stones in my slinger ammo. So I can do this 17 times. Boom, with an attack, clutch on. Boom, press X to get off. Oh, I got smacked this thing. Alright, I'm gonna do this long attack animation. Plus on, I can press triangle. And boom. That's a weak flinch. spot. And once it stops, hit it where it hurts. So now they want us to there, grapple on. Stop to moving. Grapple on. I ain't feel like it though. You missed your opening, so but don't sweat it. Grapple again. Just focus on attacking it again until the next Now the thing comes. is, the reason you have to make sure you kind of time. Nice work. When you grapple on, your attack will be less it's because to get the depending on spot you've up. the move, you're struggling they might recover from it fast. The but certain moves, thick, if you watch, they take a Let's long time on. to recover from. But yeah, see, I watched the monsters that on animation. Boom. Head and move to make sure you don't get shaken up. Granted, depending on what move he uses, it might throw you off depending on where you're at on his body. Yeah, stop moving. Grapple on. Jagras is big, but if he was like Anjan that size, you can jump on Just different parts on of Anjan's body. His head, his legs, his back, his tail. Depending on where you're at, certain moves will affect you. So if I'm on Anjan that's head and he does a head attack, and it's a heavy attack, he might throw me off. If I'm on his head and he attacks with like tail, I won't be affected by it. But like right there. I was on his head, but then he attacked with his whole body, with his mouth. And knocked me off. If he had done that when I'm on his butt, like right now, I'm on his back. That same move that knocked me off could not knock me off right then. Because I was no longer on his um, on his head. I was on his back. So I was not in like the hitbox. Oh, Grappling onto a monster will burn through it in a hurry. Yeah, stand up with that. yeah, when you grab onto a monster, you lose a lot of stamina. But right then, 
That long animation gave me perfect amount of time to grapple. Press R2, flint shot. So I'm gonna do a attack like that. You need to come to the wall. Come to the wall, draw him there. And once he does an attack, the car is alive. Like that. Up to his face. Because he gives you ample time. Nice work. So grapple. Press O. This gives him a lot wall. of stamina. And to make sure that you're doing it when a monster has done an attack that requires him to take a, a pause. I'm gonna wait for him to do like a heavy attack. Like that. Press O. And let's go send him to the wall. Always keep an eye out for ways to use your environment to your advantage when hunting. Nice work. That covers everything. Yep. Last dismissed. This is low-key messed up. Yeah, we do this. He's out here bullying this monster. Oh. I feel kind of bad for him. But, alright, that's pretty much everything for the Clutch Claw. It really just comes down to you practicing it and getting comfortable enough to know when to do it with whatever monster. Because each monster, each monster, unless you're going to wait for them to flinch, how you determine when to Clutch Claw and when's the best chance for you depends on you, the player, and the monster and how it moves. So really just take your time to practice and try it out on different monsters. But, I just wanted to give you like this little short video explaining the Clutch Claw. And hopefully you guys kind of have a better understanding of it now and can do it more when you're fighting but that's it for the video if you stay i appreciate it if you drop a like or subscribe and as always stay safe astro out